What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple enemy target lock system. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and open up our third person blueprint. Of course, if you use any other blueprints, you can use your own one. So I'm going to be making that when you press tab, you basically enable this uh, mode. So, find the tab key, there we go. So, I'm gonna make it that when you press it, I'm gonna add a flip flop note, which will mean that uh, the first time it will do this, and the second time it will do this. So, we're gonna create a new variable, which is um, target lock. And then we're gonna go ahead and set it to true on the A, and on B, it's gonna be set to false. There you go. So, the next thing that we're going to do is create a sphere trace for objects so it will basically detect all the objects that are around our player but in this case it's gonna be just the ones in front um, so we can detect our enemies so the start position is gonna be our get actor location and let me just make a space here so we'll start our location and the end point is gonna be our camera get rotation get world rotation and get the forward vector so we'll basically get the direction in which the camera is facing and then we're going to multiply this value by a float which is going to be the distance that we will basically be able to target lock so in my case let's do it like for example 500 now then we'll go ahead and add this and then control put in the second one and add it into our actor location this will be our endpoint and the red use gonna make it something as 150 25 sorry then i'm um, gonna make the object types so gonna make an array so it will basically detect all the pawns as our enemies are gonna be pawns normally and then i'm gonna say the debug time to uh for duration so we can preview how our trace will look so if we're you know making it correctly we can literally test this so we can go ahead and press play and if we go here and press tab you will see that we're getting a sphere trace in the direction where the camera is basically looking great so now let's uh, keep going so we're gonna make the return value into branch so it will just continue if we actually have detected our enemy then the out we're gonna break it and then we'll get all the uh, different things that we uh, right cast into so we're gonna get the hit actor so we're gonna promote into value and it's gonna be the uh, target well the hit target basically i think that's a good name and then this will go into true over here so we'll be assigning it there we go the next thing that we are going to do is up here i'm gonna add the um, event tick so in every frame we'll be doing one thing and we're gonna get the hit target and then we're gonna convert it into a validated get so it will only continue if we are actually um, basically de uh, detecting a enemy. So what we're going to do is get our controller and then we're going to say um, set um, control rotation. It's going to be if it's valid. And the thing is that the new rotation is going to be the uh, look at uh, find look at rotation. So we'll return our node. And the start point is going to be our get actor location so where we are right now and then the target is going to be our hit target location too so get actor location there we go go ahead and put this in target and we can compile and save so the next thing that we're going to do is basically just put a simple enemy just standing there so we can log into now i'm gonna make it i'm not gonna make it like run around and stuff I have a tutorial on a very easy enemy AI system, so if you want to check it out, I will be linking it in the description. But anyway, I'm just going to make it so that there's an AI standing there. So let's create a new blueprint class, and it's going to be type of um, uh, pawn, and it's going to be beep, uh, enemy, and I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So I'm just going to add a skeleton mesh with the many. So it will be there and then basically uh, rotate it uh, minus 90 degrees. There we go. And then in the NM class, we're going to add the uh, many 
blueprint. So it will basically be animating it itself. Okay, so now what we can do is drag it into the scene and basically rotate it like that into 180 degrees so it will be facing us. So if we go ahead and hit play, you will see that if I go here and press tab, um, it will not still detect our player. This is because there's barely collision enabled on our enemy. So we can go into skeleton mesh and we can start going down and you're gonna see the collision presets. Well, it's not collision. We don't want that. We want to set a collision. So this will be pawn as you remember that in the third person character blueprint in its race, we're looking for pawns objects. So this is exactly what we want. So if we now go ahead and click play, you can go here and we go. We can snap into our object and you can see that we are basically target locking into that object. Now if you press tap again, it would not do anything. This is because we haven't implemented the um, skipping of the target lock. So on here, when we set it to false, um, that we are basically not using right now the target lock, we'll use it in a second, but I'm gonna make it a bit like that so we have more space. And we're gonna set the target lock to be um, empty. So basically we'll lose our reference so it will not continue to um, continue on the tick. Okay, so now if we press play, we can go into our enemy, target lock into it, but when I press tap again, you will see that we go back into um, reality. And basically, I have just realized that we are not really using target lock boolean. Uh, I know that I just literally two seconds ago I mentioned that we'll do something about it, but I just realized that uh, because we are here controlling that is validated, uh, we don't really need any um control about it so we can literally just go ahead and delete this and just plug it in directly into a over here and this into b and i guess it will even look a bit more cleaner so there we go and then um, we can delete our variable yeah so a bit more um you know organized so i quickly go ahead and select this press c to comment it and it's gonna be the target lock uh, trace and um hit and then this is gonna be our set target set target lock rotation and it will end up being very very clean and there we go so that's it guys if you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful i would really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials as this one um check out the link in the description for our some unreal engine courses and now yes with all that said bye bye